Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the weekly Taurus read. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it. Trust in that divine timing. Okay, so we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot deck today to start Taurus. Then on the extended reading, we will continue with crystal tarot and some other oracle cards we will just play it by ear and intuition so what do you need to know today let's have a look and see i feel very oh there's a card on the floor where did that go right at my feet feel very much um, almost like you're overthinking and something which is going on within you okay is causing you a heavy heart and sadness I feel very heavy within my heart. I feel very much like there's this. I'm trying to keep it all together. I'm trying to hold it all in. I'm trying to keep going. And there's an element of you thinking one thing but actually reality is very different I feel very much like you're trying to convince yourself of something and it's not right I feel very much like you need to stop your head working overtime and thinking too much it feels um like you can convince yourself of anything and that is causing some of this heaviness in your heart which you are carrying with you okay so try and switch that head off and listen to your heart let's have a look at the cards <laughs> and the first two cards out are child of swords and child of crystals okay and there's definitely a lot of overthinking going off here and this is an element of being honest with yourself, okay? So, or lying to yourself by giving yourself these misconceptions because it feel, it, it's like you're creating, I'm not saying you're, well, yeah, I am. You're, it's like you're creating this pantomime within your head and... not all pantomimes are based on real life that is what i want to say to you because there that you are what you're creating from your head is based on stuff which has happened in the past your imagination and not actual truth and it feels very important to listen to your heart because your heart holds the truth but your head is running away with itself okay Then we have the Child of Hearts. And so you are waiting for something to come into your life. And because you're waiting, looking out the window, waiting for them to come through the garden gate, whatever it is, whoever they are, your head is going into overdrive thinking of all the reasons why they're not with you and that is when you are telling yourself all these misconceptions and non-truths and convincing yourselves of them because you feel like you've been more than waiting you've waited um too long in an essence and 
because of the weight, because the more time goes on, it feels very much like your head is becoming more in overdrive. And your heart knows the truth. Your heart holds the truth. The waiting and the longing can bring up many doubts, many triggers for past situations which maybe didn't come into fruition when you thought they would. But it feels very much like this is different and you know the truth of the situation. And new beginnings are definitely coming. The new beginnings which you hold in your heart and you desperately are wanting. They are on their way. They are, I want to say, very close. And they will bring peace into your heart. But while you're waiting, it feels very much like you can bring some peace into your heart by listening peace into your head and heart by listening to your heart and not letting your mind run away with you of things that aren't actually true stop those doubts stop those oh well this is why when you don't actually know that focus on what you actually know within your heart it's time to focus on the truth of the situation and not where your busy head is leading you, okay? Because there is these new beginnings which are bringing peace, okay? And it is what you've been hoping and dreaming for. We've got the Aladdin card, and that really is that energy of your wish is my command. You've been waiting for this. It's here. It's coming. It's really time to... Focus on what you know and know that everything else is just an illusion. Because your hopes and dreams are coming. The wait is nearly over. You're nearly getting to that new beginning and you are going to feel peace and contentment within your heart. You are nearly there. Hold on. Focus on what you know. Okay, beautiful people, this is where I'm going to head over to the extended reading and find out some more in depth to this reading and some more information for you. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. Please do like and comment on the video and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Bye.